Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to use the AMD GPU to run Llama using 4-bit. So the reason behind it is that uh, the 4-bit uh, method will allow you to run much larger models on your GPU. So it's, there's a lot of benefits. So let's uh, get uh, started. So uh, let's go to their wrap, like a GitHub uh, repo. So as you can see, there's a, like a, at uh, the list of the features, there's a four bit mode. So the, the thing about it is mostly for the NVIDIA GPU. So in order to, to run the AMD GPU, we need uh, to do a little bit uh, modification. So let's, uh, let's uh, get started. So uh, you, you would uh, want to activate your previous uh, created the uh, conda environment. So let's, uh, in this case, I will activate Okay, and, and make sure you uh, change your directory to your location where the text generation web UI is installed. So in, in my case, I cd the to my directory here. And then what you would like to do is you will need to do a, uh, you will need to, to make a, a new directory called uh, repositories and uh, then you clone this branch this is a modified uh, branch to to make uh, the original nvidia repository working with uh, amd's rock m so you see here there is a branch rock cm here so you will need to do that And uh, then you you run you get a clone the repository. Yeah. Yeah. So because I already cloned those, I will skip uh, this part. Yeah, once that's completed, you you will need uh, to rename the uh, repository to gptq dash four dash llama. So the reason is that uh, this is a, a a hack to 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 uh to like a trick the system to consider it as a Nvidia directory. <laughs> so that's a hack. Unfortunately, it has to be that way. And eventually, you will need to, uh, to uh, eventually you will need to cd to this uh, rename the repository and uh, do the Python setup rockcm.py install. So, so, so the last step will take a while because there are some compiling needed to install. But uh, even even though there will be some like warnings, some like uh, issues printed out, it, it seems it's okay. So eventually, it will tell you that uh, a new model was installed. Okay, let's. Uh, I will I will take a, a quick look at uh, the mod. Okay. So the installed module is called a uh, CUDA, I think it's something CUDA, CUDA, CUDA. Yeah, it's called a Quant CUDA. So this one, so this one will be installed. So this will en enabling the four bits to work with uh, AMD GPU on Linux. All right, so. 
So I think that that step, uh, like after it's completed, you are able to uh, like uh, download the model and run the model. So you, so there are some like a pre-compiled model on the internet, on Hugging Face, or other place that you were able to download. So in in this video, I will give you an example that's for one of the fine-tuned Llama model, Vicuna 13B. So so you will go to this directory and you will can copy it to your local computer. So how to do that is to click the clone repository button here. And uh, you will able to see the instruction. So those two will be sufficient. So you uh, get a clone to your repository. And, uh, and then after that, you like go to your text generation directory you go to the models here and you can store the downloaded directory here so this this one is uh, is directly downloaded from the hugging face so this one so okay so so let's take a look at what's inside so there will there will be a, a safe tensor file so 7.5 gigabytes and there are some other configuration files so yeah so make sure that you have it ready so that's needed to run to test our environment okay so yeah so i think uh, in this case uh, we have the model so the last step is to do a test run so the model we will need it like the command line like a uh, is needed it's right here the python server the p and uh, you specify the name of the model so the model name is uh, the uh, directory name here and then the last uh, two last two may not be needed but uh, uh, i think it's better to provide those so you can run them directly press enter yeah and which will show you some information and we can see that uh, uh url is presenting here and uh, let's go to there yeah we do see that come up it's great news and uh, I think uh, there's some up like uh, updating compared to my previous video for this wrapper. So I think uh, they they changed some of the layout, added uh, some more functions, so it uh, becomes better. I think uh, so. The if you go to the model tab on the top here, you can see that we do have our uh, four bit model loaded. So there's uh, four bits. There's group size 128. So there's uh, some other uh, parameters that you can specify. And uh, we, we do go to the text generation tab and then you can like uh, try to run it. So let's see. About uh, spring.
Okay, so I think uh, the max number of tokens have been reached. So I think uh, in general it uh, works great. Yeah, I, I hope you give it a try and let me know if you have any question. Yeah, thank you uh, like very much. Goodbye.